lot of you have asked me what I've actually used for my baby in my day-to-day -day life, so I thought I would tell you in this video. Number one thing I would say I use is these Baby Breeze onesies. These are literally the only things that Bowie has worn since we brought her home from the hospital. They are really, really cozy. They're actually called the Luxie because they feel super luxe. And they are a zip enclosure, which makes those middle of the night diaper changes super easy. They also have built-in hand covers and foot covers. Bowie likes to have her hands covered when she's sleeping, so it's nice to be able to have them out while she's playing and more alert and then when she's getting tired we cover her hands up and she just gets a little bit cozier they also have the same for the foot covers you can have their feet out or you can have them covered and it's just nice to have that option not a lot of onesies actually have those so it's a really awesome feature of these onesies as far as the diaper changes go while we're on the subject um, waterproof liners have been a lifesaver for us you can pick up multi packs of these for super super cheap so we just get a ton and then if they get stained or anything like that, we just chuck them out. They save our changing pad, they save the changing pad sheets. Again, on the subject of diaper changes, this is just kind of like my diaper must-haves for changes that keep her feeling kind of fresh and comfortable. I am a huge fan of water wipes. I actually discovered these from watching one of Whitney Port's YouTube videos. They have been great for Bowie-sensitive skin. I feel like a lot of the wipes have extra fragrances and extra chemicals and stuff in them that actually irritate her more than keep her feeling comfy and clean. So the water wipes are, they say on the package, 99.9% .9 water. They're awesome. They don't irritate her at all. I also use a and ointment on her. The only other time in my life I've used this ointment is for whenever my husband and I get new tattoos. So this is a very different application <laughs> for this product. But um, I use this on her all the time. It just provides an awesome barrier between um, the diaper and her skin. If diaper rash does come up, which it has I think once for Bowie so far, cornstarch, just literally cornstarch that you find I think in like the baking section of your grocery store is awesome for avoiding the kind of discomfort that comes with diaper rash. It just helps soothe and it's better than any kind of talcum powder or anything else on the market and it's probably way more affordable as well. Another um, lifesaver for the diaper rash for us was this triple paste medicated ointment. It is just pretty much straight up zinc. You wanna put it on her skin and leave it pretty white in order for it to do its thing, but it healed her up within a matter of hours. So the diaper rash came and went very, very quickly. Another must have item that I have at every kind of station in our house, which is basically all of our typical hangout spots with Bowie, are burp cloths. These are from Copper Pearl. We have them everywhere on the couch, in the bedroom, in her nursery, in the diaper bag, in the little holder like storage area of her stroller, just everywhere. Another must-have that I have, <laughs> doesn't look like a must-have because it's still in the box, but this is the size medium that I got sent. The size small is out of the box because I've used it before. It's great for skin-on-skin -skin moments, just chilling out with baby, and it's really easy to use. I do love the wrap, like the Solly Baby wrap and stuff like that, but those are a little bit more complicated. So if baby's just kind of chilling and starts to zone out, you don't want to take the time to wrap that thing around you a million ways and then place her back in it. This literally just Velcros her straight onto you, keeps her safe and secure and a little bit warm as well, which is nice. And this is a Canadian company, so shout out to my fellow Canadians. Other must-have items that are a bit bigger that I don't have with me right now are the boppy pillow. That is just great to have around my waist. It basically looks like an oversized neck pillow, but I have it around my waist when I'm just chilling with Bowie. Um, it's great for feeds and stuff like that. I feel like I've got the feed thing down with out the boppy now, but if we're just chilling on the couch or I'm on my computer and she just wants to be near me, it's a nice place for her to just comfortably rest. Another great resting spot for her is the dock tot which my dog is currently using behind me. So another important thing, if you have a dog and you have a dock tot just in general, if you have a dock tot I would get multiple covers for it. We have a bunch of covers, so it's really easy to just wash them and change them out. Another major hangout spot for Bowie is her baby Bjorn. That was a huge lifesaver for us because Bowie loves constant motion. She loves like really big bouncing. If we were holding her 
and kind of cradling her, she was like not having it. We would have to be like dancing with her and really bouncing her. That is her favorite, favorite, favorite thing to be in. So that is an absolute must have for us. All of the other kind of automatic mechanical um, rockers that are available on the market are super chill. So when she's in a really chill mode, I would say that the Fisher Price Rock and Play has been our biggest winner thus far. She can kind of hang out in that for 15, 20 minutes on her own. She gets some stimulation and it's really nice for her. But as far as calming is concerned, Baby Bjorn all the way. Another major must have for us is the Snoo, which is the bassinet that Bowie has slept in since she came home from the hospital. It's where she has all of her naps. It's where she's currently napping. I've got the monitor right here. Always have an eye on baby. <laughs> Um, she has all of her naps in the snow. She sleeps at night in the snow. And I go into what I love about the snow more in depth on my blog. So if you want a full review on it, then you can head there now. I'll put the link in the video description below. But my biggest plus for it, because it is such a huge investment, is the fact that it has straps that keep the baby calm and safe throughout the night. So you don't have to worry about her rolling over or anything like that. It just sits as such a scary subject and I know the whole back to sleep campaign just put emphasis on why baby sleeping on her back is so important and the snoo has reassured us that she would be staying on her back all night long every single night and that has been a great peace of mind for me and my husband. Speaking of monitors though, I want to say this is the monitor that we use. It's from Motorola. Having a good baby monitor is so important and we actually went through a few of them because a lot of them rely strictly on not just Wi-Fi, because this one is Wi-Fi operated as well, but it relies strictly on your phone. And having the monitor feed up on your phone every time you're not there with baby is a gonna drain your battery, B not allow you to do anything else on your phone, and C not reliable at all. So to be able to have an actual external video monitor for us to watch and carry around with us from room to room has been a major, major plus for this monitor for us. Another great thing that has helped Bowie's sleep situation apart from our awesome monitor, which allows us to watch and monitor her, and the snoo is a great sound machine. We tried out a couple of them, and the one that we've kind of settled on was the hatch rest which is awesome because it's a night light and a sound machine it's got a bunch of different sounds for you to choose from and while you can operate it from the app on your phone which is really handy you can also do everything manually so you don't need to rely on the Wi-Fi you can just turn it on and off of the button and it all functions really smoothly as far as other baby gear I would have to mention our car seat because we went through a couple of those as well again I feel like that's just life as a new parent you go through a bunch of different products to figure out what works for you. The one that we first had, which we still hang on to for travel purposes, was the Cybex Pram. It's so cute and it is just really great. It's like sturdy and it travels well, so you can put it in any car, which is awesome, but it was super, super heavy. So we discovered the Nuna Pippa Light LX, which is, um, I think around like five and a half pounds or something like that, as opposed to the Cybex Pram, which was upwards of 13 pounds. So you can obviously tell what the difference is there. I don't know if you really categorize this as baby gear, but it's worth a mention because we've definitely gone through a few of these, is her baby bath. Um, we use the Fisher Price 4-in-1 finally because she hated baths. She hated them, hated them, hated them from birth. And I didn't know why, I didn't know what was wrong. I thought, okay, maybe eventually if I change the bath, maybe she'll like that. And like magic, she loves bath time. So I don't know if that's just a coincidence of her getting older or if it has something to do with the bath. But I love this four in one because it takes them from infancy straight into toddlerhood. And when they're little, like Bowie still is, it comes with a sling that just clips in, so it keeps her elevated enough that you don't need to worry about her neck and not being able to move it and stuff like that. It keeps her really comfortable, but it does keep her submerged in water, so she stays warm. I feel like I'm probably missing a million things because hello, mom brain. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already, and head over to my blog. Again, I will include the link in the video description to hear a more in-depth review of the snoo. I know that everybody knows about the snoo. It's quite a trending topic and it is a major investment. So I want to make sure you guys have all the facts before you decide if this is a must have for you. I will see you in the next video.